What's up beautiful Gemini and welcome back to my channel. We are here today to do your July energy reading and I know I'm late. It is what it is. But let's just tune into your energy. Um, you can use this for your sun, moon or rising. Uh, or if you're cross watching for a loved one of course. Don't forget to switch up the roles if you do cross watch. Um, what else do I want to say? Of course this is a general reading so don't forget to... Be very mindful of that. Not all will apply to everyone. Some parts will, some parts won't. Just take whatever you need in order to help you move forward. Always look back at it. No, you don't have to always, but I would prefer, I myself do that when I'm watching other videos, to always look back at it at the end of the month so things will make more sense. Yeah? So let's see what we got for you, beautiful Gemini, this month of July what I'm seeing here is that you're moving forward you're taking steps things are changing um, things you might have been going into a different direction and things might be changing quicker than you thought they would um, we got um, number four intentions we got decreasing cycle but it was reversed number four again and we got number four again True love, and it was reversed. So, oh uh, yeah, wait. We also got the seventh house. This is the area in your life about long-term significant partners, romantic partners, business partners, or family. And we got Capricorn energy, and it talks about the energy around you is serious, materialistic. I hope I pronounced it right. Uh, hardworking. It bestows shatteredness and uh, cautious ambition. Okay, so what I'm feeling, yeah, because. <laughs> Kept going like play it safe. Um, so I'm feeling um, beautiful Gemini. Like I said, I feel like you're taking steps forward. You're moving forward. Things are changing, maybe even more rapidly than you thought they were. Um, I feel like this has a lot to do with your foundation. I feel like there's significant growth for you happening on a very deep spiritual level. I'm seeing like layers being pulled off. Some of you might be feeling like you need to throw up or nauseous, some Geminis. For some reason, I feel very like I'm getting this nauseous vibe. I'm getting this as if there's something that needs to be released. That this doesn't mean that you need to throw up. Some might throw up, some might like fart, some might burp. These are all the ways of the spiritual body to release. Um, and the physical body to release spiritual energy um, um, and I feel like you have been sitting on something in your foundation that's not been working out for you um, this might be relationships I feel like especially because we got the seventh house here I kind of feel like um, um, you might have had your fair share of either unhealthy relationships unavailable relationships um, or relationships that have been mirroring your self-love your self-image or the image your inner child has of relationships and how it doesn't or it hasn't uh, healed certain aspects of itself i feel like there's this part of you that it's a really it's really nasty what i'm seeing in my i'm seeing you puking and then puking up like a little eeny mini you as if it needs to come out and it needs to like be released and it needs to be set free. That's what I'm feeling. And I feel like this has a lot to do with your roots. This has a lot to do with where you come from. Family matters. Um, what you have seen growing up and how you developed growing up. Um, you are a very strong soul and a very strong being in the here and now. Uh, but I feel like... Um, there were little aspects or certain aspects that hold you back or are holding you back in your relationships. So you might have been attracting people that are taking advantage of you. Or you might be to have been attracting people that are unavailable. Or you might have been attracting people that are abusive or toxic for some reason. The some reason is that it has to do with something in your foundation. And I feel like there's a lot of emotions connected to it. I feel like you're ready to take things to a next level. As in, you want to be more serious and you want to like approach things in a different way. Uh, I feel like you're very. Um, um, a lot of Gemini's are in a very um, positive vibe when it comes to their businesses or work or or what they're trying to achieve i feel like there are some beautiful things happening on that field but i feel like there are also um counterparts or different parts of your life that are not feeling as abundant or blessed 
or that have not been feeling as stable as you actually wanted to feel in your life. So what I'm seeing here for you is that things are changing. The old man, uh, the old old man, sorry, the old ways. Well, it might be something with old man for some <laughs> some Gemini's, but um, the old um, matters are. I almost want to say reversing things are changing like you are getting back at things or you are healing or things are it is really strange so for example what I'm seeing in my mind is people um, go to um, school um, then it's go to college then they start working what I'm seeing with you is you start working you go to college you go to school um, so things might be moving backwards on certain levels or certain uh, things or certain relationships, um, but it is for the better. I feel like it will help you develop a more truer sense of who you are and who you want to be in the world. I feel like there's been this reflection or there's this reflection of um, the relationships surrounding you or the people you meet that are actually really pinpointing out this month what you need to fix in your foundation in order to move forward in order to feel strong and i feel like it's very important for you to no longer play it safe when it comes to relationships i feel like it's very important to open up to share to take steps for to in order to help you move forward you need to have the intention at least to want to change something want to be better um want to connect more and if you do i feel like this is a magical moment for you to create an entirely new foundation that will help you build the empire that is strong and healthy on all levels in your life not just business or whatever it may be um and of course for every every gemini it might be a little bit different might be shifting a little bit in some might be good at relationships some might be better at work and jobs some might be having a good time in health manners or whatever it may be for you but i feel like not all are not all aspects of your life are evenly distributed balanced however you want to say it right i feel like it's a deep month for you i also feel like this is a like i'm getting this very serious energy like i want to be very serious about things my baby is going to bed, so she's crying. She's sleeping with her dad, though. So she's not alone. <laughs> Let me see what else I pick up. Okay, yeah, what I'm feeling is in your month, the upcoming month, we got the Seven of Cups. Do I say the seven? Yeah, the seven of cups and the moon. So what I'm feeling here is that you have new options, new possibilities for you this upcoming month. Um, but there will be some things coming to light that you might not feel comfortable with. Some shadow sides, some aspects of you. But they are there in order to move forward. And I kind of feel like you kind of can pick... Um, um, your options as in to how deep you want to go, as in which direction you want to go with it. But I would like... I would like jump on this surfboard and ride this wave because i feel like there's a lot of personal spiritual emotional growth that can happen from this month so let's see when we're looking to relationships beautiful gemini okay what i'm seeing when i'm looking at relationships for you um i hope we got discovery, uh, number eight, intention. We got energy, courage, sorry. And then we got the nine of wands and we got the three of uh, swords. So what I'm feeling here is that you might have had your, like I said in the beginning, fair share of situations not working out, um, being stabbed in the back, being betrayed, being lied or being cheated on, or uh, there's something there where you've been dis disappointed or not feeling good or not feeling aligned or not feeling like you're getting what you deserve or what you want or seeking from certain relationships. I feel like there's this possibility to heal something right now. So you will be able to attract that. I'm, I'm getting the, in my mind the diamond in the rough. Um, but you don't want a diamond in the rough. You actually are ready for the diamond. But for some reason there might be something, some, some of you might be attracting a diamond in the rough. You might be attracting someone that um, still needs a little bit of polishing, still needs a little bit of like molding and growing. But I kind of feel like they will be on your maturity level emotionally. 
Yes. Um, so yeah, I see you finding that, but I feel like in order to find it or get it or, um, and even if you're having a relationship, even if you are a Gemini and you are already in a relationship and you're like, girl, this doesn't go for me, like I'm in a happy, joyful relationship or I'm in a relationship, I feel like this has to do with um, healing old past relationships or old bullshit from your current relationship that has been ha happening in the past and you will find some golden nudges in it and you will be able to um, get a stronger stable relationship with the person you already have but in order to have this you I feel like you need to open up you need to have the courage to um, share where your heart has been broken or where there are things happening because I feel like you're in your mind a lot you're thinking a lot you're you're, it's almost a Libra energy. You're, you're like, hmm, am I going to go this way? Am I going to that way? Is this the best direction? Is that the best direction? How should I go about this? And I feel like you have, have been having a lot of like maybe internal turmoil or issues with how to express um, what it is that you actually feel. And, and you might have been able to do it on paper or you might been, it might be in your head, but to get it actually out might have been an issue for you. I do see that this is a changing uh, perspective and this is a changing pattern in your life um, especially if you set the intention to shift it change it and move forward from it so let's look at business work that type of energy for you Gemini Okay, thank you. We got uh, number six energy, fragmented energy. We got spirit, ascendant masters. Then we got uh, the empress reversed. We got the page of wands. Then we got the hermit. Yes. Um, so what I'm feeling when it comes to your business, work, job, personal growth, finances. Um, I feel like... Um, when it comes to finances, I don't know, I need to talk about finance now. When it comes to finances, I feel like you might have invested in something. Uh, could be personal growth, could be um, a business, could be uh, something else that should uh, or is supposed to um, uh, bring new money in or bring something good in and I feel like you are getting either the rewards or you're getting some money towards you or you're getting some there there's going to be something significant and positive coming back to you so you sent out the the something um in order to invest and it's, I feel like for most of you it's 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 um financially but it could also be mentally emotionally time and um, time investment um, in your job work business or personal growth or finances that is finally coming back around and um, delivering you the fruits of your labor um, some of you have been a little bit shattered lately when it comes to adapting to a new way of living or a new way of working or working and living um, and I feel like you need to set different new boundaries in order to move forward. Some of you are dealing with a motherly energy or a, a woman or might have been dealing with a pregnancy or a, a, a new new mom or some of you might be a new mom and might need to um, find new ways to work or do things um, work related, personal growth related, business or finance related um, that you haven't been dealing with before. I feel like there's this moment where you feel like i don't know i feel like dancing i feel like you need to um listen to the song of your heart and it sounds a little bit woo for some scorpio scorpio sorry so you so some of you might be dealing with a boss scorpio or uh, someone in the work field that's a scorpio or the the woman might be a scorpio um what did that one say oh yeah some of you uh gemini's um might need to do things differently and more aligned with who you really are and what you really feel. I kind of feel like um, 
you're seeking for some peace and I kind of feel like you're growing out of an old position into a new position and there you will find new in there are there's new intuitive guidance coming to you there is even though you're you might have been all over the place I feel like things are coming back together and I feel like you will find renewed power and renewed energy to move forward on a certain project so some of you might be getting an old project starting to work on an old project or an old idea and putting it to fruition I do want you um, to trust your own opinions and your own possibilities and not be needy for validation or recognition or anything of that matter from anybody else that needs to like uplift your spirits in order to for you to move forward you should be trusting on your own ability and know that you are good enough you don't need any outside permission validation um anything of that sort to help you move forward or to let you know or feel that you are worthy okay um you're growing you're growing so much and on on a lot of levels because you've been investing a lot of like time energy into this fireworks and it was pretty hard uh, sorry if you hear that heard that um, but might be something for you what I just said you've been investing a lot and and I feel like it's finally bringing you to a point where you have been working for um, I do see with the with the nine of um, did I show this card I don't even know <laughs> with the nine of um, the hermit sorry number nine the hermit I do feel with this here that um, you need to go a little bit within in order to find some power or in order to find some um, new directions or a new way of doing things. Um, because I feel like if you're too focused upon what other people are doing, you will miss the mark or you will not get what it is that you need. You're you're ending a certain cycle. So some some of you might be moving on to a new job or getting a better position. I think I said that last month for you too. I don't know for sure. So let's see what the spiritual energy is going to be all about for you, beautiful Gemini. Oh, we got two. Okay. We got number 40, the secret. This card says the unknown mysteries and wonders. We also got 23 kindred spirits. And it says spirit companions, guides, and comfort. And then we got flexibility. And we also got forgiveness. So what I'm seeing when I'm looking at these cards and when I'm tuning into these cards, into this energy when it comes to your... Um, to your spiritual energy spiritual energy could be your really spiritual energy like your soul uh, your spiritual growth mental growth emotional growth could also be you in the universe and the universe bringing you some sort of message about your purpose or your alignment or where you are in your life right now um use it in however way you can implement it um so what i'm seeing is there might be coming something to the surface something that you have been either suppressing or something that somebody has been holding back from you and um, you might not know where to go from that point on once once you receive that knowledge or once that secret comes out or once that confession comes out or once that thing rises to the surface I do feel that it's very important for you to forgive yourself but also forgive if there's anybody else else involved um, it might not just be anybody else it might be a group of people or it might be a system or it might be um, uh, your work or it might be something that like, it might be something bigger than just um, a person but I also feel like it has a lot to do with forgiving yourself because I kind of feel like there might be some coming something to you some for, form of knowledge or some form like something that you didn't know or weren't aware of that you might beat yourself up about um, because you think okay I could have done better or something like that I want you to be really flexible and I want you to be really strong and powerful in owning what it is that is yours or your part of the situation or your share and figure out how you can transmute that and be become better uh, as a human being in the certain situation that you are dealing with I do find that you are attracting now more um, different people um, and the people that are not for you will be moving away from you or moving away in some sort fading to the background whatever it may be um, and I feel like you will be able to find more peace balance and harmony in certain relationships but in order to do so I kind of feel like you need to make a certain decision I also feel like it's very important for you to be more kind towards yourself. 
beautiful Gemini. So this is my reading for you for the month of July. I really hope that you understand what I was saying or talking about. Um, I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Button? Button. Yeah, button. Um, um, and uh, comment down below how you feel and how you're doing. I always like reading your comments, sharing you so much. Sharing you. I'm saying really strange stuff. I wanted to send you a lot of love and good energy and I felt a little bit like all of the place ending this some of you might be waiting for more or seeking more or needing answers on something that you have not get yet or haven't gotten yet or it hasn't been provided to you or somebody hasn't opened up to you or somebody hasn't given you what you have been seeking for or asking for i feel like things are changing like there's a lift off and things are slowly but steadily moving forward or getting better so we need you need to be a little bit more patient around that patient around that okay sending you love and good blessings and thank you for your patience bye